three of my daily video vlogs. It is, let's look at the clock, March the 21st, 2015. Right now it's 9.48 p.m. I forgot to say that the last time. Silly me. But um, I just got home from a Kids of Blaze practice. I am part of the Kids of Blaze team. We have a TV show called Tween You and Me. And um, if you've watched some of my son's videos, he's mentioned it. Well, we are having an awareness event coming up in April. It lets uh, people know what we're doing. And then we will start, hopefully, shooting season two. You can go over to, um, I'll put a link right here to episode one, right up here. You can take a look at that if you like. Um, it is a show for tweens. So it is a show geared towards 8 to 12 year olds and um, we use teenagers, well 12 and above, to do all the acting and drama. It started off as a ministry, it's probably, the ministry I believe is 10 years old. I came in on the team, I think this is my 6th year or 5th year, maybe 6th year. Anyway. I came in on the team the year that my land, my son Landon was uh, 12. He, this was his first year and um, I wanted to go where he was, make sure he was safe and so I came with him and then I was invited to be part of the adult team. I basically handle, handle a lot of the tech stuff when we have um, events and I do the sound effects, the lighting and the you know, audio, video stuff, anything on the screen. So I take care of a lot of the tech stuff and um, and every aspect. But one of the purposes of the ministry is to train the young people. So I constantly train kids as they come in how to do the sound, the video on the screen, how to use programs, lighting, stuff like that. You know, work with the band. I work with pretty much every area of you know the show um, and we have a TV show that we have let's see I believe 20 let me look here so we have 23 episodes and they're in reruns now uh, like I said I'll put a link in in the description below on the website the Facebook page and the YouTube channel and you can go and watch the video so we have these weekends where we come together and not everybody's there. We have like 35 team members, I believe. And um, you can look at the website and see some of the cast. I'm updating the webpage, so some of the people that are on that page will be removed and new ones will be added. I just haven't gotten it done. I've been editing videos and putting them on YouTube. We also have a Twitter and we have an Instagram and Landon does that. So we have these weekends where we, the band comes together, they practice, the dance team practices, the drama team, um, the actors, what have you. And uh, they work on the different skits and things. And like I said, if you go and watch some of the show, you'll see what I mean. Um, anyway, so I got back from that. We, I was gone all day Saturday, Friday night, and all day Saturday. So I'm going to let you go. I do have one um, really inspirational story. It's about a little boy who he um, he has an illness where he can't walk and he can't move around like a lot of people. And he was in the band, and uh, that's close to my heart because I was in the band for from the time I was in let's see fifth grade, fifth all the way up through high school. I play music now, I play the trombone, but he was going to have to quit because he couldn't hold the drumsticks. They bought him lightweight drumsticks, so they, they were hoping they didn't want to lose him because he really loved to play, and he just couldn't hold them. He could barely move his hands, and so his teacher just, it's just didn't want to give up. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a stickler for, I don't like to give people special treatment. I think you should earn things on your um, hard work but sometimes people can try really hard and, and just physically can't do it so it talks about how they used an iPad and 
um, he can move his hands and place the drums to the iPad. So I thought it was a pretty cool story. So I'm going to, here's a picture right here. And if you click on that picture, it'll link right over to the story. I saw the uh, story from a USA Today article, and I can't, for some reason, link to the article if it's not a video on YouTube. So if somebody knows how to do that um, out there and you're watching this, like if I want to link to a website and I put a picture right here, um, how can I link to that website? because I can link if it's a video and it, it just seems like it should be easy because that's just straight HTML but um, I haven't figured out a way maybe I'm just missing it I could be just missing it but so this is not um, and I'll put a link to the original story in the description and a link to this video so you can go and read the original story and, and it actually has a better higher quality video on the original story website but if you just can't manage to find it in the description just click on that link and you can go to it um, so anyway YouTube I hope that you have a great day when you're watching this it'll be Sunday the 22nd and I hope that you have a great day I hope that your day ends up being the best that it can be because I know that it will be good for me so, I appreciate you watching my videos. If you would subscribe, it helps me know that what I'm doing is making a difference. And leave a comment. I've had several people leave comments, and I really take them to heart. Um, but I appreciate it when you do. And I know that I'm on the right track. So, until tomorrow, YouTube. I'll see you later. Yeah.